Hello again, GA Connors. I'm back with another video. Last time we talked about journal entries, how to upload new journal entries in bulk and modify them in bulk, all from Google Sheets to our QuickBooks account. Today, we are going to be looking at expenses, how to upload expenses with varying payment types, and in the next video, we'll talk about how to modify them. So to get started, you first want to pull an object report from Get Accounting Data. I'm just gonna show you the template that I used here. So selecting expenses as our object, and then going through the um, associated items, I selected the account reference name, expense ID, in line items, selecting account name, amount, class name, customer or project, description, detail type, item name, quantity, unit price, the location name, memo, pay reference name, payment method reference name, payment type, reference number, and the TXN date. So I have already run this object report and that is what you see here. At the top, you can see I've got three different expenses that I would like to upload into my QuickBooks account. And as you can see, they are of varying payment types. So we've got credit card here, check, and cash. This just goes to show you can bulk upload um, various payment type expenses all at once. So to get started, I'm going to select the rows of my new expenses that I'd like to push into QuickBooks, go to GACon for QuickBooks, and upload accounting data. Once this window pops up, I've got our row selection mode. Know that you can select all rows, new rows only, currently selected rows like I've got right here, or you can specify a data range or row numbers. I'm going to stick with currently selected rows, and selecting just the rows in one column will do just fine. You don't need to select the entire row. GACon knows you're talking about the data in the entire row. Um, making sure our QuickBooks object aligns since we pulled expenses and now we are inserting new expenses. The operation we're going to want to use is insert because we are inserting brand new expenses that don't yet exist in QuickBooks. Making sure our first table header is correct so that our results column generates nicely in column T in this case. I'm gonna hit execute and save. Let that load. Let's go check out column T. Amazing, so these are exactly the results that we'd like to see. We have um, the ID that QuickBooks has assigned to these brand new expenses now, and we've got time in which this executed. Success, true, and created true, because we um, not only pushed something into QuickBooks, but we created a brand new object in QuickBooks. Just to give it a double check and show you guys how quick and easy it is, Let's go to our very first one. It's going to be for advertising and marketing with a credit card. And the line item amounts are around 2,000, 3,000, 2,000. Amazing, exactly like we wanted it, just how we laid it out in Google Sheets. It is now existing as a brand new expense in our QuickBooks account. Stay tuned for how to bulk modify these expenses and let us know what you think down below. Thanks for following along. Talk to you guys soon.